Ah, good morning, everybody. It's new bike day. Oh. So guys, full disclosure, <clears throat> I work at a bike shop. We sell specific bike brands, and there are certain things in which I like from those particular brands. However, I'm not sponsored, nor am I paid by those particular companies to represent any type of brand, and evil is certainly not one of them. So I wanted to be a little bit impartial, and I got a good majority of my stuff away from the shop. Didn't want any, um, any uh, conflict of interest to happen with this build, especially for you guys, because I want to be as honest as I possibly can with you. So I picked out a build that I've been lusting for for a very long time, and I mean lusting for. Uh, Evil the following is available online. Evil Bikes is available online. That is no news. So I picked this up from backcountry.com. Uh, this is with their recent $500 off the following frame sale. I'm a little partial to 29er bikes. It's right within that, that trail range category, that jack of all trades bike that I've been looking for. But um, I just want to share with you guys that I got a great deal and then I also got some cash back. So in the link in the description, I'm going to leave uh, a URL for ebates.com. If you sign up with that URL, and you sign and you shop anywhere online, I'm talking like anywhere, like Nike, Under Armour, maybe Macy's, maybe JCPenney's, backcountry.com, any of the websites that you can think of or you usually shop online, Amazon, eBay, um, you can get cash back and you don't have to have a special credit card for it. You just have to sign up through Ebates and it's just a referral site. Uh, with this particular bike frame, I got 6% cash back. So not only did I get the tax deducted basically because the state tax in Virginia is uh, is six percent but I did get it on sale too so uh, I got a nice nice discount and so they're gonna send me a nice big fat check of two hundred dollars cash back so I did have to pony up the tax up front but I'm gonna get it back in the in the long run um, this past week it was eight percent so not only on the stuff that I got from them uh, would it negate the tax but I would have gotten even a little bit more back in my pocket so ebates.com link in the description totally worth it if you shop anywhere online absolutely do it now down in the description guys so here she is guys my new evil the following it's a 2017 model I got it on sale um, stands no tubes flow mk3 rims the new ones the pro 4 hubs from hope tech SRAM guide RSC brakes we're gonna actually adjust those and put a carbon lever on them we're gonna put the uh, the SRAM Eagle X01 kit I'm super psyched about this this is the uh, the new revived seat post from Bike Yoke. Oh, it's going to be the best. Joystick analog carbon bar, Truitive cranks, Pike RCT3. We're going to put some Schwalbe rubber on there. Oh, this is good. How many people get to do their dream build? I mean, this is this is it. Like this is the top for me. I am super super hyped about this. So I'm going to try to film as much as I possibly can of me building this bike and setting it up. Maybe share some tips of how I set it up. I've built these wheels myself. This is the first wheel build I've ever done myself. Super hyped about that. Um, went together really, really well. Struggled with it for the first, like for, mm. on the front wheel, maybe like the first lace, but then I had to get it right. And then after that, once I knew what was going on, I got it right the first time, so. Before we do the build, I'm actually just getting some pieces together, like the crown race of the headset uh, and the press fit bottom bracket. I wish this frame did have a threaded bottom bracket. Evil Bikes is now putting threaded bottom brackets on their newer models. But um, I'm getting some of the things together that we can go and run to the shop and use the specific tools for. So like the press fit, or excuse me, the crown race that goes on top of the fork crown. Um, need the special tool for this. I do not wanna, do not wanna mash this up. So we're gonna get a few of these things together. We're gonna roll the shop, do some of the special work, then come back and go to town on this new bike. So when going back through this footage, I realized that all of the build footage has unfortunately gotten corrupt. And that's my own fault for not importing it properly and definitely not organizing it properly, which really, really sucks because that means the only thing that I have to show you from the build process is now this one photo. Uh, but I will tell you the build process went pretty smoothly. Uh, I did find a few things here and there that were hiccups, but I was able to, to remedy pretty quickly. Uh, one in particular being the rear brake uh, caliper mount. I actually had to wait for a specific part to come in, um, ordered the wrong one, 
it's just simple because of the fact that uh, I wanted to run 180 millimeters with the rotors in the rear, but um, I was thinking that it was maybe standard 160 mount. It was actually standard 180 mount, uh, which was I was not used to, so I had to get a very specific brake adapter from Avid delivered to my house. So that put me a little bit behind schedule, but once I got everything up and running, I actually took out for the first ride, a very short one with the dog, just to kind of get some uh, some of the suspension worked in, and also to adjust some of the air spring rates and damping and and rebound and whatnot. And uh, we actually ended up having to cut that mile that ride short because it was so hot out that the dog actually overexhausted himself, and I took him back. It was only about uh, one and a half miles, but it was still a ride nonetheless, and I got a pretty good base setting. Oh yeah. First adjustment, the compression just a little bit. So what are we at? Oh, we're at full fast, damn, okay. One, two, let's try 10, see what the extreme is. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 19. 19 clicks, so let's see what 19's like, huh? Oh man. <laughs> She's a rock. <laughs> she feels like a slug, but that's because it's just so restricted in its rebound. Like, it doesn't feel harsh. It's what suspension would feel like if you were screaming in a soundproof room. And let's go to the middle. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So then, so one, two, three, four, five. We're in the middle. Five in the front, five in the rear. Good boy. It's a little better. If I press into it. So she's not harsh. I'm still feeling some undulation in the rear, like a little bit of a bounce. I might dampen it, but the front feels a lot better. I might even go one or two clicks faster. Just short undulation. Well guys, if you hear me breathing, it's because I'm out of shape. You should totally check out my Way in Wednesdays. It's a new series I'm doing, track and fitness, I'm trying to motivate everyone, I'm trying to be motivated. Definitely check that out. It's on the channel, there's a playlist about them. And uh, it's just a way for me to be able to be open, vent a little bit, get things off my chest, become a better, healthier person, and get fit riding my bike. Much love and support, guys. I love it. So, the more comments, the more conversation we can get there. That's helpful to me, and I know it'll be helpful to you. So, if you're working to achieve a goal, check that out. It's just like me, working together, guys. There. Handsome dog. Oh, no, he's misbehaving today. <laughs> Good boy. One click. Slow. So that's six total in the rear. Four from fast. Six from fast in the rear. Four from fast in the front. Six from fast in the rear.
Give it a little balance now. Not pinging off of things. And I'm not bobbing up and down. Uh, the first few rides with the Evil were cut short because the dog got so tired. So we're out here at Freedom Park today uh, and I'm gonna do a little bit more adjusting. So uh, initial ride and adjustment take two. Let's get rowdy. Oh yeah. Well guys, that was my build and not so much build of the following from Evil Bikes. That was, uh, it's my custom dream build. I've been wanting that bike for a while. You guys are obviously gonna be seeing that bike a lot because that's my new, new bike. I'll still be doing some reviews and some test rides here and there. But if you wanna see more of that bike, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit that, that thumbs up. If you didn't, eh, give me a thumbs down and leave me a comment about it. But um, I'm definitely going to try to get my act together and try to tell a more thorough and enticing story because knowing that I lost footage that would corrupt, that, that's such a bummer. And, um, and that's not what I want to do. I don't want to give you a half-assed story. I want to give you the full story. So I'm going to try to get my act together and organize all my media properly and, um, and, and, and show myself in a better light on YouTube. But uh, much love, guys. I'll see you on the trail, okay?